Hey guys, good morning. It's about 9.20 in the morning. I am at Emmy School to have a parent-teacher conference and I had to just brush my teeth and slap on some clothes today. I didn't even get to a chance to take a body shower. This is real life, people, real life. Because I was feeding and, well, not feeding. I had breakfast, yeah, I was feeding. I was feeding Autumn. Let me <laughs> rephrase that. I was feeding Autumn, I was pumping, and I pulled up now and I'm about to get out of the car. I don't even have a bra on. Mm -hmm. I have a nursing tank top. Totally forgot to put on a bra underneath that. So, we're just gonna wing it. I'm already at school. Her uh, conference is in nine minutes. I don't have time to go back home and put on a bra. So, yeah. Luckily, I'm wearing like the nursing tank and then a shirt over it, not just the nursing tank top like I did in carpool line the other day. What are you gonna do? You know, I, I mean, I got a lot of stuff to do today and this is just one of them, so we're just gonna go with it. I love your outfit today. I love your outfit today. Hi. Hi, my beautiful girl. You looking at these? You can hear music, it's Autumn's <laughs> little lullaby mirror. That thing's actually really cool. We had just a regular mirror for Maddie and that I couldn't even see out of anyway. It didn't make music or anything. And this one has a remote that like goes to it, it has lights and all kinds of stuff. It's really neat. Anywho, got our stuff done. Or this morning I had uh, Emmy's teacher parent teacher conference which went really well and it made me so happy to hear she's top of her class she's doing amazing the teacher said she absolutely loves her having her in her class she's very vivacious she does talk a lot and sometimes can be disruptive because she talks a lot but uh, I mean she handles it so well like a lot of you I know last year when Emmy was in kindergarten and I was vlogging I would complain like about her teacher and the different colors she would assign and stuff like that and uh, this year it's completely different and I absolutely love her first grade teacher her kindergarten teacher was super sweet I liked her a lot as well but she did kind of be a little too nitpicky towards the end of the year for me her first grade teacher just seems Gosh, so amazing. I'm so glad and blessed that she got her in her class because she's just awesome. I love her. Love her, love her, love her. So, Emmy's doing well. She's, like I said, at the top of the class. She's the most advanced reader, most advanced in math. And I told you guys she's the only first grader in the whole school in GT. So, I'm just really proud of her. I could not be more proud of her. She is, oh, she's just such a sweet, bright girl. I like she has set the precedence for all of my children and I really really hope and pray that they're all as easygoing and bright and intelligent as she is so anywho enough of that sappiness she um, will be glad to know that she did really well but now it is crunch time it's 12 30 I am sitting in the car waiting for Andres he's picking up his tux for the wedding tomorrow and we're just running errands. We need to, we just left two banks, our primary bank and our mortgage bank, and to pay bills and stuff and put money where it needed to belong or where it needed to be. Uh, Autumn's having a cow. And then we're picking up his tux. He needs to get a haircut. We need to go have lunch. Uh, because I'm already starving. You know, I would think that I have enough reserve that it doesn't work like that. Like, I wouldn't get as hungry as quick, but just pumping, like, breast, they say breastfeeding makes you really hungry, but even pumping for me makes me hungry. So, anyway, we need to get lunch, and I need to, what else? We need to stop by Walmart and Babies Are Us and find a gift or a gift card for their wedding tomorrow with a card. So, that's what's on the list today and we all we have to do it in the next two hours because we need to pick up Emmy and then we need to go home and get ready and then pick up Maddie, take the girls to my mom's house by four o'clock because he has re rehearsal dinner at five and um, we need to get dressed and go and it's like a 30, 45 minute drive to the rehearsal dinner. So yeah, my mom's gonna be watching the girls at her house tonight and at our house tomorrow night so we need to up for that.
she's not happy. This is the other car seat canopy that we got. I told you guys I would show it to you. So it's really just like a very thin, thin material. You can see my fingers right through it. So it's nice for warm weather. Keeps them covered and it doesn't slip off. And then if you need to see them, you just pull it up and over like that. And it stays connected in the back. Hi, Mama. And you can see she's in a romper. So it's really hot outside. So we're at Walmart looking at the little costumes while the rest is looking for something else. But I'm looking at the costumes for the girls. Emmy really wants to be a Ninja Turtle, the orange one, Michelangelo. And um, Maddie said she wants to be a butterfly. So <laughs> we're looking at those. This is, this is what the girls we were last year. Uh, Wizard of Oz, which was such a cute theme. I liked it a lot But this year we're not going to dress up with them We're just going to like I'll probably just do my makeup and wear like ears or something We're not gonna actually dress up dress up So I let them pick what they wanted to be and like I said Maddie picked a butterfly So here's a yellow butterfly With the wings and that's funny for Emmy's third Halloween like she had, she it was Halloween then she would have turned third on, at uh, third, she would have turned three on October, oh my gosh, November 4th. She was a monarch butterfly. And I wish I had kept her costume because that would be so stinging cute. But, even like Snow White, how pretty. But I'm to the point where like if they don't want to be princesses every year, I'm fine with that. Our costumes last year like did us. Oh, here's a pretty butterfly. That one's super cute. A butterfly fairy. So maybe I can find this one somewhere. I really like that. And plus, we keep the costumes every year for dress up for them because they love it. So, yeah. And Andres, I think, is actually looking at these like big inflatables. <laughs> For the year he's like been obsessed with Halloween this year I don't know why oh my gosh I really love this costume we could totally do Alice in Wonderland oh oh my gosh now I feel like we need a theme Alice in Wonderland that is so cute so I left my regular uh, glasses my three dollar ones from well these were no these were ten dollars from Office Depot but my three dollar ones from um, <laughs> Where did I get them from? Target Dollar Spot I left at home. So I had to resort to these. So sorry, you're gonna be able to see yourself when I'm talking. But we got both the girls. Hey, hey. Uh -huh, crazies. Y'all ready to go to Grandma's house? We are ready. Ready as villains. Oh Lord. So, um, didn't put on any makeup or anything. Just took a quick shower, washed my hair, got a fishtail braid going on. Um, some cheap gold earrings. I think these are from Payless or Forever 21. A cheap gold necklace from Forever 21. No other jewelry, just my wedding ring. And um, we're going to rehearsal dinner. And oh, I hate when people cross the street like that. When they jaywalk, you know, it's very dangerous. Mm. Anyway, we're dropping the girls off with my mom and then we're going to head to re rehearsal dinner and or <laughs> rehearsal and then I guess go to dinner. I don't know. So it'll just be him and I for a little while. And we got all our errands ran. I meant to show you guys what we picked up from Walmart, but I got some clothes for the girls. So I'll probably show that in a baby clothing haul. And we got some jackets and then we got some fall stuff. This is what we ended up getting at Walmart. Like I said, we got the girls some clothes and jackets and stuff. That'll be in a baby haul, but we picked up these little Bubba 12 hours cold, leak proof, eight ounce little things. Got the blue for Emmy and the pink for Maddie or vice versa. I mean, two different colors so that there's no fighting. <laughs> Otherwise I would have got two pink or two blue, but one of them's going to be for one of them uh, because that's how we have to roll in this house. I couldn't make up my mind on which of these I wanted to get and they were fairly inexpensive. They're vinyl tablecloths and I got them round. I got a Halloween one and then I got two fall autumn ones. This is brown with like different pumpkins and stuff and this one is like a beige with animals, hedgehogs, foxes. 
um, owls and it says fall is here this one says pumpkin leaves happy harvest different things and then this one I don't know that it actually has like spooky things I think this is still supposed to be fall but because it's black and orange and yellow I figured it was more Halloween so then I got um, each of these to match this one matches the happy harvest so I figured because I could you know September October November I could do like this one September this one October this one November they th I think they were like three dollars and these towels were 88 cents a piece so really no big deal so I got these to match the happy harvest one the black ones to match um, the black one and then this pumpkin spice one to match the beige one over here and then I'll just replace this regular towel with those towels for a little bit of decoration uh, some diaper genie we have to have these at all times we have two diaper genies one downstairs one upstairs so we needed some more of those and then I also wanted to check out this deluxe diaper changer uh, it's kind of similar it's extra large I don't, I don't know, it's gray and pink. I don't know that I'm gonna love it, but the one that we have that we got for the baby shower, I don't like at all. It's very big and bulky. And um, I love the one that we had for Maddie, which was from Target. So if I don't like this one, I'm going to return it and get the other one, but that's what we got. But I am going to kind of give like a small little tour of the house and our fall decorations and our Halloween decorations, because I'm the best put Halloween stuff up outside. So we are going to do that. They're nuts. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, anyway, uh, we're going to do that and then go pick up the girls, go home, start all over tomorrow. It's not even my wedding, but I'm going to record it anyway. So, rehearsal dinner over. No, not dinner, rehearsal over. We are headed to Pericos, which is a Mexican restaurant. Uh, in the Bandera 1604 area to have the rehearsal dinner and um, my mom poor thing she's like devastated she was going to get her cell phone to text me that um, Autumn had a diaper change and a bottle and she dropped her the corner of her cell phone on her cheek and she when I talked to her she was crying she's like if she has a bruise I'll never forgive myself she was so devastated I was like mom it's, it, I mean she didn't even cry like I'm sure she's fine and I just felt really bad for her and poor Autumn probably has no idea what's going on no idea why my mom's crying but she said they're doing okay, the girls ate dinner and everything's fine, so we're going to the dinner. We were just gonna go home, but we're gonna go to the dinner with them. We're headed there now and then we'll go get the girls and then tomorrow they're gonna have to skip swim, swim class because he has to be there by four and I can't take all of them by myself and get in the water with Maddie and no, there'll be no one to watch Autumn, so my mom's gonna come over with my grandma. So tomorrow's gonna be a lot of prep work cleaning the house up a bit so my grandma doesn't have to see it filthy and making sure that they have food and everything set up for them and all that good stuff. So I may not vlog until we go get the girls just because it's a little weird for me to vlog in front of all these people. I don't know. You guys want to say good night? Good night. What else are you going to say? <laughs> good night to you tomorrow. Good night Adam's tomorrow. right here. And this the blanket's actually covering Ah, it's stuck. Okay, hurry, say it. Okay, Autumn's right here, so it's it, it got dark, so bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye. I know it's kind of dark. We are headed, just picked up the girls from my mom's house, headed home, tired, it's almost 10 o'clock. Still need to pump edit the video and um, get them all in bed. And luckily, I thought it was going to be Autumn loves sleeping on my mom's tummy. Loves, loves, loves it. All of them. No baby has ever not loved my mom's tummy. So I thought for sure we were going to pick her up and she was going to not sleep tonight because she'd been sleeping the whole time. But my mom actually said she'd been awake since 5.30. So she ate, was awake, and then ate again and then fell asleep like 10 minutes before we got to that house. So... That should be good. She should sleep tonight, which is what we're hoping and praying for. But I still have lots to do when I get home, like edit and 
get them in bed. So I'm hoping that it's an easy, smooth night and we all kind of get some rest because tomorrow Andres has to wake up and go get his haircut, go get his tux, all while we're kind of just waiting at the house and then my mom and my grandma are going to be there at three. But like I said earlier, I kind of want to get the house straightened a bit so I'm not, my grandma doesn't feel obligated. My gra grandma owned, man, you were close to that truck, baby. It's the moon. You see the moon? Yeah. Oh. My grandma owned a cleaning business for like 40 years when she was working. And so she's like the cleanest grandma of life. And I always worry about her coming over to the house that she's going to be like, dust? What? And I mean, she's not like that. She's super sweet. But at the same time, like she's very nitpicky about her house and stuff. And so I always worry about that. So I'm going to get the house tidied up and um, just you know, get things straightened and set up for them just in general since they're gonna be at the house for like nine hours watching the girls. That's gonna be kind of weird, so. Anywho, we're going to call it a night here so that when I get home I can just edit and upload and no problems. So I hope you guys enjoyed today and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.